In recent weeks, the Mike Harris government in Ontario has been retreating. It amended Bill 136, removing the ban on the right to strike, and Premier Harris sacked his education minister. This is not just a case of a government trying to get ready for an election in two years. It's a result of people fighting back. You recognize that you have to fight back. We've got no choice but to fight back. And people began to mobilize. And they began to mobilize with the community. And you saw the labor movement uh, leading a movement that was much broader and saying, wait a second, we're the ones that really represent the needs of the community and what's good about the community, not the corporations and not the Harris government. The impact of the Days of Action and other protests is not just about defeating the Harris government and its agenda. But I think there's something much more important uh, in all of this. And this is that sense that no matter what government is in power, we have to keep fighting and pushing. We can't just leave it to government. And we can't just step back. And I think what's changed is that people recognize that what democracy means is that we have to be constantly active. We have to broaden the debate all the time. As globalization takes its toll on workers, unions are responding here and elsewhere. What you see around the world happening is that people are starting to fight back. You see it in the demonstrations in France, in South Korea, and Brazil. And one of the things I think uh, people in the labor movement should be proud of is in all these cases, that fight back isn't in fact being led by political parties, who presumably that's their job. It's actually being led by workers and their unions. And then, of course, it's very important to get the politics into this. The successful mobilization of the public against the Harris government is grounds for optimism about the future. And you've got high school students who have really been active. There are more high school students out in each of the days of action than there were in the previous one. It just kept growing in terms of the participation of high school students. And we've seen high school students actually playing a, a, a very active, and in some cases, a leading role on what's happening to the educational system. So I'm optimistic about people generally fighting back. And I'm particularly optimistic when I see what's happening with young people. CAW, fighting back makes a difference.